Exactly. You know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to break an ankle if I happen to stumble a little bit. Needless to say, I'll be taking a cab back to the station because we are into wine festival here. Uh, we are going to be chatting about the region, the varietal, and all the things you can expect with our good friend Harry. But in the meantime, Harry, as we go to break, pick me out a nice champagne or two here. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Oh, that's nice. What about that one? Yeah, no surprise here. I love me my wine and I love me my bubbly, which is great because both are featured, Harry. That's right. It's a bubbly year and a France year. And I know you love bubbles. I so sure do. Here's a Cremant from Burgundy. Let's put some wine in your basket. Now, I've always heard that the Cremant is always a very good value for bubbles. Yes, it's, a, it's much more uh, less price than a uh, champagne. Great value, usually around 20 to $30. And uh, look at these. One of the great things about the wine festival is these blue dots, because these are the wines that aren't normally available in the liquor store. So let's pick up. A, I know it's a bit of a mouthful. Paul Zink, Grand Cru, Eichberg, Gewürztraminer. Say that 10 times faster after 10 yeah, bottles. Exactly. <laughs> what else do we got here? Oh, check out. One of the things we're doing this year is we've got the winemakers signing the bottles. That's pretty unique. So for people that are maybe cellaring their bottles, they've got a nice little souvenir. That's right. A, a nice little gift. Pretty impressive in a dinner party, don't Definitely. you think? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, I know champagne. your favorite champagne. Yeah, and bubbles is something that is featured obviously throughout the wine festival this year, and lots of great options and lots of great price points. Bubblies from around the world, but of course the most famous bubbly of all is champagne. And look at these beautiful, beautiful bottles. And you know, I think you like pink. Oh, can I sure. buy this bottle for you? You can. This, <laughs> you this, just became this. my new Look best this. friend. A rosé champagne. <laughs> rosé champagne. By the way, the Vancouver International <laughs> Wine Festival now in its 36th year. The tasting room open until Saturday, runs though until Sunday. For more details, you can go to vanwinefest.ca for all the scheduling and events. And don't forget too, you can buy now. Carry later. Oh, we got lots more coming here. And then you can go hands-free when you leave. We can go hands-free. I'm going to go shop a little bit more. We're going to take a little break on let's, BT. Lots more to come, Harry. Let's, let's do it. Let's, well, exactly. Well, whatever we're going to be drinking, we're going to try to identify certain notes. We've got blind tasting for beginners coming up next at the Vancouver International Wine Festival. Stay with us. You're watching BT. That's right, and I'm actually listening to the song. It's like, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, a little bit of wine, a little bit of bubbles. Terry, we're going to do a bit of a blind tasting, but what's great is that we're going to do it beginner style, right? Absolutely, a bit of blind tasting. This isn't usually how you do blind tasting, but, you know, it's kind of a bit of fun. Okay, and, uh, and a lot of people are intimidated by blind tastings because they're worried about sounding... You know, maybe not the oh, smartest sorry, at kind wines, kind of and I'm and right. I'm typically not somebody that can identify all the things I need to identify. So, what's the first thing we're going to try to figure out? Well, really, it's all about. I mean, wine wine should just be fun. It I'll go like this so I don't oh, spill. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wine should be fun. It really is all about fun, and and blind tasting is all about enjoying it and trying to see what kind of flavors and aromas you can get. I love the way you dived right in there. I um, do. Well, I have to. So uh, you got to move along here. So absolutely. Okay. So I to me, I can tell because I've had enough wine in my day. I can tell it's white of some sort. Is Absolutely. that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really taste a lot of effervescence, so I'm going to say it's not a sparkling or a bubbly. Oh, well, watch out, watch okay. out. I mean, it's there is a little bit of probably bubble there. You probably maybe don't notice it with the first sip and oh, maybe the second. There it is. So, okay. Maybe so, a little bit of effervescence. And probably the glass maybe would have given me an probably idea Probably given you a bit of a clue. So I'm going to say it's a bubbles of some sort. Now, yes. I don't know how to identify whether it's a Prosecco or whether it's a Champagne. Well, how rich is it? Do you, do you feel any kind of full flavors or light flavors or sweet flavors? Um, there's a hint of sweetness, but I've had sweeter. Maybe yes. give me an idea of what it is. Okay. Well, it's Italian, but okay. it's not Prosecco. Okay. But okay. it's not champagne, obviously. Well, it's not champagne, but it's okay. made in the champagne method. There you go. So there's a, those are simple little tips people can go. Totally, absolutely. And very quickly, the next one here. Okay. I'll hand you this one. Okay. There. There we go. Different glass, so I'm going to say it's not a bubble. <laughs> well, don't presume. I'm going to say it's a red of some sort. Oh, no, it's not. It's a white. And I'm going to say it's very sweet, maybe something like a Riesling. That's probably going too far for me. Well, no, it's it's a good good choice. We're actually in France here. We're actually in Sancerre. Okay. So Savion Blanc, um, but Savion Blanc, the classic way from uh, uh, from a very very classic village. Well, so. either way, it was an education. Even yeah. those little bits there, Michelle Terry, of course, doing lots here for the Vancouver International Wine Festival. There are tons of seminars and also the tasting room open until Saturday. The wine festival goes until Sunday. For more details, you can go to vanwinefest.ca. Okay, Dawn, now, when you were at the aquarium and I made you eat krill, and you made me eat krill by sending some back to the station, <laughs> if I dare you to drink more of that wine, will it uh, reciprocate back here to me? 
Well, we'll see if it can make it back to the station with a somewhat of a full <laughs> bottle. You know, by the time I walk see, back. See, bubble doesn't yeah, travel Exactly, to that's, that's right. But if I walk back. <laughs> there you go. We're going to actually try champagne. And we've got one of the family members, the Tatinje family members, here to show us properly how to open a bottle and what to look for in your bubbles. Stay with us. You're watching BT. And one might think that the only faux pas you can make with champagne is thinking that you only need to use it for a special occasion. And today is a special occasion. We've got Clovis Tatinje here. Welcome. We all know your champagne. Thank you very much. <laughs> Basically one of the last uh, family-owned champagne houses. So it's a pleasure to have you here today. And you're going to show us something pretty basic, but something a lot of people have a challenge with, how to properly open a bottle of champagne. I would try to do my best, you know. You put me a lot of pressure on the shoulder. <laughs> So what's the best way to start? The best way to start is to start in the morning, you know. <laughs> That's no, a good one. <laughs> by opening the neck, you know, by opening the, this little foil, and then you don't turn gently the... Now, a lot of people think that you're going to want to point, you know, the bottle and then pop the cork somewhere no. far. That's not the right way, is it? One of the key things is to always, always um, keep the hands on the, on the cork, you know, to avoid, you know, uh, that the corks pops up you know, freely, you know. Exactly. Someone then, you know, gets an eye poked out or something. Yeah. We don't want that. And the good way, you know, is to turn the bottle, not the cork. Okay. And to make the cork come very, 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 very slowly. So you want it to have just a little puff, just a puff sound. You don't exactly. need it to pop. I love it. Okay, you're going to pour us a couple of glasses because why wouldn't I want Tatingje himself to pour me a glass of Tatingje. Now, when we look at the bubbles, can you tell by looking at the bubbles the quality of the champagne, or even the bubbles, like Prosecco to Champagne, for instance? You can tell. You can tell about the, the quality, you know, uh, in most cases, but you cannot tell about the region. You know, it's impossible. You know, uh, except of being a magician, which I'm not. You know. uh, so, if we see small bubbles or big bottle bubbles, what does that tell us? No, the, the smaller the bubble are, the finest normally is the Champagne. You know. Wonderful. So this is definitely. One of the finest champagnes. Tatingje also being featured here at the Vancouver International Wine Festival, the tasting room, on until Saturday. And of course, the festival happening until Sunday. Cheers. And uh, coming Cheers up next, you. by the way, let me grab. We're going to, we, we learned the proper way to uh, do it gently. But coming up just before 9 o'clock, we're going to savor a champagne. Let me just say my producer, Deb Wally, there back at the station, uh, Jody, has made her way all the way here to give us a hazardous release form. Just for legal purposes, of course. We have bubbles, and coming up next, we are savoring a bottle of champagne as Terry preps that bottle. Just stay with us in just two and a half minutes. We're gonna savor coming up next. Not to try at home unless you're a trained professional like Terry. And uh, of course, we've got a saber here. The hazardous release has been signed just in the event yeah, someone gets, you know, because actually I read an article that this is one of the biggest injuries that people have on New Year's is getting a cork in the eye or something. Well, I think, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you're doing this. And I think you have to be very, very careful and you have to know what you're doing too, so. And this is the guy that does, of course, we're giving you a bit of a, a peek at what's happening here at the Vancouver International Wine Festival. So sabering a bottle, how do you have to prepare the bottle to make sure it's it, perfect saber? It has to be very cold. Okay. And the better the bottle, the the better the saber, um, really. Uh, you need to have uh, a, a bottle that has a lot of pressure in it uh, in order for that to kind of pop off. Uh, and you just want to make sure that you're, yeah, you're in a safe place. Okay, so what are the things we need to look for here? Well, you need to look for the seam. That's the most important thing. So you find the seam of the bottle, and I can feel it right here. Yeah, I probably can't see it as well on camera, but you can, you know a seam when you, you can, see a seam on the bottle. You can see a seam. Okay. So it's a bottle, uh, there's one on, on either side, obviously. Uh, so you find the seam, and what you do is you, you see that there. All right. And kind of clear off the foil. Um, and then what you do is you take off the cap. A little dangerous, so I'm going to take it away from the camera. Exactly. We want to make sure Nelson stays nice and safe. Absolutely. I don't think he's actually signed uh, the information there. <laughs> so there we are. Okay. I'm pop that over there. So you've got your seam. And you take your small kitchen knife. Something sharp. Something sharp. And really... No pressure sorry. here, Terry. We've got about no 20 pressure. seconds for you. Okay. So... And just like that, for more details on the Vancouver International Wine Festival, you can check out vanwinefest.ca. The tasting room open until Saturday. The wine festival still on until Sunday. And of course, it's all about France and all about bubbles this year. Thank Cheers. you very much, Terry. You're very well welcome. done. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> I will. You already are, my friend. You already are, Don.